hello hello welcome guys uh, okay so this video we will understand what is the option chain so I know in the beginning it can be very very confusing all right uh, I spent my first two three years completely confused about all this stuff right what the heck man if you look at these screens uh, you go crazy nothing but go crazy okay so let's understand this so what is an option chain now uh, of course from the previous videos you should have already understood uh, what are options what's a call option what's a put option and stuff and now we'll understand what's option chain let's start so i'm looking at uh, intel now again we are using think or swim platform and uh, of course you should know how to use this if not uh, i hope you have already uh, got my other course on think or swim where i explain how to use the entire platform all right so this is uh, intc which is intel i press enter Put the ticker press enter enter c intel now this is the price of intel 63 dollars today right uh, so we are at 9th of june 2020 and uh, here this is how it looks okay when you first load it your screen should look something like this so you can be on the monitor tab you can be on the trade tab so you come to the trade tab under trade tab we are at all products in all products we are at intel and the first row here is the underlying which is intel has dropped by a dollar 24 cents today this is the bid and ask price uh, the bid is what the buyers are willing to pay and the ask is what the sellers are willing to sell at right so the difference in this case is only one cent which is nothing okay uh, this is the total volume so 10 million shares of intel have been traded so far today uh, this is the opening price so Intel opened at 63.97 and then it has dropped now to 63 all right so it's dropped by a dollar and this is today's high so 64.15 is what Intel went up to after opening and it has gone as low as 62.94 so this is what it shows right now let's come to the option chain so here it says option chain now make sure that here you say uh, let's click this guy so it tells you that uh, show me both the sides that means you want to see calls and puts both show me expiry types so to keep life simple you can skip the weeklies and see regular and quarterlies okay and then you can see deliverables which is uh, regular which we don't even care about and we leave these as it is because we want to see all okay so once you select this click outside this is how it is set there is no save button there uh, spread is single uh, and this is the layout so you want to see the implied volatility probability of out of the money delta and volume for each option so i have chosen these fields and if you do not know how to choose these fields etc back to my think or swim videos okay that's where you learn all this so you set up this thing by default you will have uh, these right so you'll have volume and open interest uh, you'll have position intrinsic extrinsic and stuff so i have set up this right how using customize so you set up this and now here let me explain what is uh, an option chain so option chain is nothing but the different prices at which you can buy an option and uh, as you understand options is two parts it's a bet that the stock will go up or down from now until a given duration so you are basically when you buy an option you are putting a bet in the next 30 days price of this equity intel will go up and if it does go up i'll profit or if you're sure that the price will go down you'll buy a put option and say i'm sure the next 30 days price will go down so you buy a put option right so uh, this is where you see how many days left to expiry now options are uh, not like stock so if you buy stock it lasts you forever you can keep it for 100 years or more uh, and pass it to your children if you buy options then they expire so that means you have to be correct on your bet in the 11 days if you buy this option from this option chain all options in this option chain will expire in 11 days right and you have to be very sure that in next 11 days rather than next two three days the stock will actually go in the direction that you think it will because stock market is nothing else guys but a bet of 
where will the stock price go up or down those who are right win make money those who are wrong lose money right so you of course want to be on the right side most of the times so i wouldn't say always because there's no always right everybody who trades loses and everybody who trades correctly wins more than he loses and that's how you keep profitable okay so coming back uh, 11 days to expiry now if you are uh, a scary cat like me okay and you're very scared and say oh my god oh my god 11 days is uh, it's going to pass in a jiffy right what if I can't even log in for next two days? You know, some people are that busy. Then you will be safer if you take this chain, which is going to expire in 39 days. That means all the options inside this chain. So if you click this little tick bar here, you see the whole chain opens. These are calls, all of these. You can purchase any of these. And these are puts, right? So here it shows us 14 strike prices. 14, right? Uh, you can say all, it will show you all, everything that exists, right? A lot of them. Uh, you can choose less than 14, which is 6. Okay, so I like to keep it at 14 and I think you should also keep it at 14. Okay, <laughs> uh, because that shows you just enough of what you need. So in 39 days, this option will expire. So let us say, right now the price is 63. There is no 63 here. So when we buy 62.5, we call this in the money so those that are in the money they are in the yellow box and those puts so these are puts puts that are in the money are in the yellow box and with this layout we chose i want to see implied volatility probability delta volume is what you see here implied volatility probability delta volume extrinsic uh, and the bid and ask you will always see right on both sides on puts and calls so now is your time to look at Intel, so let's go to an Intel graph here, INPC. So I'm using trading view uh, for my charts because I love the software, but there's a lot of advantages. I find it fantastic compared to think of some charts, right? So don't argue with me on that. You can use what you like, okay? But I love this. So you see, Intel is going down. So now what do you think? In the next couple of days, do you think Intel will continue to go down or do you think Intel will go up? This is a one hour chart. So let's change this to one day to make your decision easier, right? Okay. So what you see is that on a one day, it has already come to the top of RSI and the price may fall from here. If the price may fall from here and if that is your take and you're sure, you're going to go and buy a put. Okay. So that when the price falls, you make money. If you were somewhere here and you were sure the price will go up you will buy a call and wait for the price to go up and when it does go up you make money right and then you close your trade so you can close your trade anytime guys so this is american options so you can buy it today and you can close it today itself uh, however uh, as long as your account allows right so your account allows three trades per week if your account has less than twenty five thousand us dollars and your account allows unlimited trades if you are above twenty-five thousand dollars. The money in your account, right? So that depends on the money in your account. So here, how much money in your account decides how many trades you can do in a day. All right. So now, when you have less than twenty-five thousand, it will show you DT here, which is day trades. So opening and closing on the same day is called a day trade, and you allow three day trades per week. Okay, uh, and you don't do more than those because then they will lock your account and then you need to request them to unlock. So coming back to our options now, so in 39 days, so let's say now I feel that Intel will go up in the next 39 days. So I go and buy this call. Uh, this is the bid price, the price that buyers are willing to pay. This is the ask price. Those who are selling these options are willing to sell at this price. So when you open, right click, buy, single, I want to buy. Okay, so there comes your window to buy and here it says you're buying a single option, one contract of Intel, which has a date of 17th of July, 2020. So that becomes the expiry date of this option. And you are buying 62.5 strike. That means 
you profits if it goes above 62.5 way above 62.5 okay so at 63 you don't profit now the reason being that you should know how to buy calls then you understand so this is a call and then you pay two dollar 96 cents right so that means if let's say you pay three dollars approximately so what is your break even your break even is 62.5 plus three dollars which is 62.5 plus three dollars 65.5 if i say confirm it will show you this so you see how long i took to calculate yeah we are all slow right okay, i'm slow you may be fast uh but that doesn't stop you from making money okay <laughs> Uh, and no, you don't need a calculator. So that's the beauty of this platform. So it tells you here at 65.45, you will break even. That means the stock price needs to go up higher than 65.45 and then you are in profit. Okay. And how long do you have for this to happen? In total, you have 39 days. But of course, if this happens in the next two, three days, that's fabulous. Right. So... We will talk in another video about, you know, expiry dates and what does 39 days mean and is it really 39 days? Do you really have 39 days or, uh, you know, sometimes after 10 days, even if it goes to $70, you can lose money. Okay, that's how options work because the price of option comprises of a couple of components. One is option price, one is implied volatility, one is the days to expiry, which is 39 and there are other some factors right so all of this decide how much value does your option lose every day if you are on the 30th day and the price is 67 i'm quite sure you'll be losing money right but if the price is 75 then even if you are on the 39th day you will still be in profit so it really depends how fast intel goes up right and whether you made the right decision did you choose the right stock did you choose the right strike price uh, so that's what it means right now what's your profit your profit can be infinite that means intel can go to 500 and then you can earn a lot of money all right now that's your max loss that's the cost of your trade so if you put this trade 295 dollars is your cost plus commissions so in US commissions are zero. I'm from Singapore. Commissions are still 65 cents per trade. They are uh, even $1.25 cents sometimes. So for stock commissions are $5. For options commissions are smaller. 65 cents, $1.25 cents, depends on your account. And this is your total cost. So this is the total amount of money I'm risking, $295.65. And if in 39 days, Intel does not cross this number, I lose this amount two ninety six dollars right that's my total risk there is no other risk i have there is no other way you can lose more than two ninety six dollars okay so uh this is one contract so i'm going to go and edit just to show you you can actually buy three contracts and if you do so the capital you need will increase now you need triple eight to go into this trade your total cost is eight ninety dollars which means that your total loss can be 890 so your risk increased but your profit potential increased because if intel goes up by ten dollars then you gain let's say three dollars then because you have three contracts you gain three into three so okay i know you didn't understand what i said forget about it i'll explain again okay but here on the screen let's understand the screen so you got it that if you increase the number of contracts your profit goes higher and also your investment goes higher right so i'm going to delete this we don't want to take this trade but that's what it means right so when you decide to buy at this price 62.5 you bought almost uh, at the money or in the money right and if you go and buy this 70 dollars right then you see you need to pay very less you just need to pay 44 cents multiplied by 100 because every option is equal to 100 shares it allows you to control 100 shares and uh, so in the basic video we explained why is that so now this is uh, 44 cents so you'll pay 44 dollars for this right but the risk here is if intel stays below 70 dollars 50 cents 
in the next 39 days you will lose the entire 44 cents all right so uh, this is first part of understanding the option chain that this number here in bracket means how many days to expiry the more days you have the more time you have right which is better but that also means that the more expensive it will get so let's check that out so 65 dollars option is costing one dollar seventy cents when you have 39 days to expiry if i open a 11 days to expiry then you will see that a 65 dollar just this is costing only 71 cents whereas here you need to pay one dollar seventy cents now why do you need to pay a dollar extra that's because you are buying more time right so this contract will expire in 11 days so you should be correct in 11 days and this gives you a lot more time so you pay extra money right? it's like very real world isn't it in real world you want more time you pay me more money and that's the contract okay so uh, this gives you a brief introduction for uh, option chain and now let me explain to you the second part okay okay so the last part to understand is that that you have multiple option chains here so we have this 11 days then we have the 18 days 24 days and these are weeklies weeklies are those that expire within a week and uh, monthlies are normal options are expiring on third friday of uh, every month so if you look at this guy this is 19th of june and <clears throat> we open up our calendar and that's the third friday right one two three so that's the third friday of every month so normal op options expire third friday of every month and uh, this is 17th of july so if you look at that then we go to july and then we see that this is 17th of july third friday one two three right third friday of every month is normal options and then people got a lot more greedier so in their greed they said why don't we have options that expire every week right so usually weeklies let me show you weeklies will uh, be cheaper okay they'll be cheaper so let's say you don't have weeklies okay let's say you have this 11 days and then you directly jump to 39 days so you will see that for 39 days you will be paying 289 and for 11 days you'll be paying 151 for 63 and well let's look at 65 because that is a number okay 62.5 okay 62.5 you'll be paying 289 and here you'll be paying 179 that means if you want something because 11 days is too less and 39 days is a lot so if you want something in between you don't have it right so that's one reason that they introduced weeklies and then the second real reason was that they uh, people sell options so when you sell options imagine you purchase this option from me at one dollar fifty one cents so one option represents hundred shares so we usually multiply this by hundred to get the real amount that i need to pay so one hundred and fifty one dollars is what you pay me right but normally we look at the ask prices because that's the price i'm willing to sell this is the price sellers are willing to sell so you'll pay 155 dollars to me and if you are wrong that means you bought a call at 63 dollars and the stock remained below 63 dollars in price or slightly above 63 dollars in 11 days you lost all this money correct because you were wrong on your bet the stock has to move substantially higher your break even will be your strike price 63 plus you paid me one dollar 55 cents so we add this into this so it becomes 64.55 so only after the stock goes above 64.55 you start profiting if the stock remained below 64.55 in the next 11 days you lose all this money and i pocket all this money because i sold to you so in my advanced option course i actually teach how to sell right because selling is more profitable than buying uh, most of the time okay uh, and then you don't worry because the time expiring is in your favor when we buy 
time expiring is in my is against me right so every day passing and the price not moving i'm losing money correct whereas if i have sold to you then every day passes you lose money price doesn't move you lose money i earn money so is isn't selling better right so selling is uh, better than uh, buying only where, so where is it good to buy right do i buy or not yeah of course i buy options right so uh, you buy options when you are very very sure that the price is going to go in a given direction up or down substantially very quickly right that means the price will jump 5 to 10 dollars uh, within the next two days so when you know this then you buy if you don't know this then you're better off selling okay so we'll reserve selling uh, and how to sell and stuff for another video so uh, this is the option change so this is why they introduce weeklies right so i was explaining why we need weeklies and then they even have uh, some other types uh, which we don't care right now okay so uh, for this discussion we focus on option chain so this is why it's called a chain because it's a chain of options at every strike price you have a price uh, a option to buy now comes the last part of the discussion which is well should i buy this or should i buy this because this appears much cheaper right now uh, this is quite a secret <laughs> and this is something that people do not understand and this is why 95 percent of option buyers lose money because they don't understand this part right so let me explain this part now what are the chances of the price going to 65 if you go and buy this versus this okay here you pay 289 dollars that's your cost of trade for one contract here you pay 445 now you will realize that if you buy four contracts quickly here now you have to pay 445 into four which is like 1700 1800 dollars right but if you buy four contracts of this then you actually pay 289 into four which is about 1200 right so the deeper in the money you go the more money you need to pay and i'll tell you why but if you increase the number of contracts because you are greedy and you want more profit then your cost of trade increases and you need more capital and we do not uh, have a lot of capital most people do not have a lot of capital right so you want something cheaper so a lot of people you will see uh, by volume so let's pick something good let's pick up Facebook so that you can see the actual uh, figures right? okay so for Facebook now uh, what you can see is that uh, when you buy out of the money right farther then the option does get cheaper but look this is the the volume here yeah so when this is cheaper at four dollars thousand people bought this right compared to what is in the money so you have add the money which is 1500 people bought this and then you have way out of the money which is 1000 people bought this so this is what i mean when they get cheaper a lot of people buy you see this it's 737 people because this is 138 right so now what these people don't understand is facebook needs to cross 260 plus 138 which is 26138 facebook needs to cross 26138 a good 30 dollars and then they can profit on this guy and all of this should happen within 39 days right so basically what i'm trying to explain is not what is right what is wrong but what is the meaning of this bet right so you need to understand what's the meaning of this bet and that's how you choose what strike price you want so sometimes i will also buy this guy sometimes i will buy this guy sometimes i'll buy this guy right that that depends on the strategy so we have a different video where we talk about the strategy of buying calls and puts um you can buy any of these right if you buy deep in the money you pay two thousand dollars twenty dollars here you pay two thousand three hundred and ninety five dollars here if you get it at the bid price if you get the ask price is two thousand four hundred fifty five dollars just for one contract guys just for one contract but because this is deep in the money it's at 210 and the price is already 231 right now watch this watch this yeah so let's say we bought this okay uh the delta here is 81 cents which means for every one dollar 
the price going up the option price will increase by 81 cents and that's fantastic right that's exactly what you want actually you want this 1.0 that means if option if the stock increases by one dollar the option also increases by one dollar the stock increases by five dollars the option also increases by five dollars right so that is what this delta shows you how much percent will the option price move with the stock price moving okay so 81 percent so the stock price will move 81 percent 85 percent and here is just 50 percent right that means if you if the stock goes up by five dollars here the price of this will become uh, 15 dollar uh, two dollar uh, 50 cents higher because stock went up by five dollars and this is 54 percent so it's approximately two dollar 60 cents so the price of this will become 12 dollar 80 cents right 10 20 plus two dollar sixty cents that is twelve eighty all right so then uh, that is your profit so that two dollar uh, that that two dollar fifty cents or two dollar sixty cents is your profit guys on that trade which means that uh, two hundred and fifty dollars or two hundred and sixty dollars is what you earn so let me repeat this let's assume we purchased this guy so our cost was the strike is 225 so it's in the money it's in the yellow box the option price moves 62 percent with the stock price so we purchased this and we paid let's say we got it at the bid price 1315 which means uh, 1315 dollars is our cost for one contract and now if facebook went up by 10 dollars then this would go up by 62 percent of those 10 dollars which is six dollar twenty cents so we add six dollar twenty cents to the price here which is uh, 13 plus 6 is 19 and 1930 right so this will be worth 1930 now when should this happen should this happen after 39 days no 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 this can happen today okay this can happen within one hour so if this happens within one hour you take your profit of six dollar twenty cents which is six hundred and twenty dollars close your trade run okay shoot for the gates because you earn money so you do not need to wait for the expiry so should you buy say 39 days to expiry or 18 days that depends on your risk appetite that means the more time you have the more time you are giving for the stock to go up for the market to move and for you to be correct and for you to make money the lesser time you have then you must be right immediately and it must move in one or two days and you must take a profit and you must close the trade and run okay so in what case do we wait until that nine days okay in no case okay <laughs> we never wait when you buy options you never wait for that nine days to pass that's the wrong thing to do when you are a buyer of options when you purchase whether it's a call or whether it's a put okay so uh, that explains to you so let me do a summary of what we covered one we covered what is an option chain what are the strike prices what is the meaning of this expiry uh, we covered that there are monthly options which are the standard options which is this 19 june 17 july and they expire on third friday of every month and this number here in bracket means how many days you have for the option to expire then we covered uh, what are weeklies and why they came up with weeklies so that you have more options to choose then we also covered uh, how do you choose at the money in the money or out of the money we also discovered the mistake that people make that uh, they go and buy these because they feel that these are cheaper we also covered a bit of calculation or a proper calculation of how do you calculate your break-even price and also how do you purchase right so this is all we covered so i hope you have a very good understanding of an option chain and how this thing works and how do you decide which one to buy based on your risk appetite based on your analysis your fundamental analysis your technical analysis uh, different videos for explaining these where you make the judgment and make a bet that the price of the security uh, stock uh, or we also call it the underlying goes up or down within that period of time and lastly we said that the moment that happens you can take your profit close your trade and run okay so let me show you a simple example this is the trade i have done today so i go to my monitor tab 
and you will see I bought BI, I bought NVIDIA, I bought both of these today and uh, right now my NVIDIA is in profit of $36 and my BA is in loss of $79, right? So I'm not worried about this and you should also not be worried about this because 20 minutes back this was $70 in profit and that is how fast BA moves, alright? So if I close this right now, I earn $43.50. If my commission is three dollars, I subtract that commission. You see how it jumped? Did you see just now? It jumped to twenty-eight. <laughs> uh, then I subtract three dollars and I earn forty dollars. So if I log in, choose a stock, make a decision, buy an option, earn hundred dollars in a day, two hundred dollars in a day, fifty dollars in a day, log off. This is awesome. Do you agree, guys? This is awesome. This is why we are here. This is why we are in this market. We want to earn this kind of money every day and more as fast as possible so that it makes us rich. Yes, that's why we are in. Okay, so just wanted to show you how do I close. So I have purchased this. Now let's say I want to close this guy. I will just right click here and I will close this trade like that. Okay. So do you see it's closing at 22.15 here, all right? Now let me show you trade price. I purchased at 21.91 and currently the price is 22.15 and that difference makes me $117. So if I close this now, I will earn this $117, correct? So the last thing then to show you is if I go to my trade tab, all products, NVIDIA, options, it will show you the call that you have purchased. So I have purchased this call here and this is worth 22.15 and when I purchased this earlier, so 22.15 and it will move 57% in correlation with this guy moving, okay, the stock price moving. So when I purchased it was 21.91 and now it's 22.15 giving me a profit of $117 which is fantastic, right? Like I said just now, a profit of $117, $200, $150 a day or even $50, $60 is fabulous, okay? On a bad day, I'll close at profit of $40. On a good day, I'll close at profit of $400 and you will do the same, okay? Now, why does this decrease? Because I purchased a vertical. So, three contracts, this minus this is this. All right, this minus this is this, okay? So this this video is not about explaining vertical. So you understood the option chain now. You understood that you can see more of them when you click all. So you get more options if you want to go deeper in the money or if you want to go farther out in the money, all right? And the same thing for puts here. And you buy puts when you feel that the price of the underlying, the stock will fall. Alright, so fantastic. Uh, this video went on a bit long, but I hope it explained you everything about an option chain. And I'll see you in the next video with the next topic. Thank you much. Bye.